Well, this is an understatement, but there are lots of cute animals at the Greensboro Science Center. But there's one group that's always fascinated me. These guys back here, meerkats, I love it. The powers that be let me get up close and personal with the pack, and it's definitely what to see at the GSC. Alright, so I get the luxury of being zookeeper for a day, but this makes me a little nervous. We're starting out with herpetology. Mmm, just before dinner. <laughs> just <laughs> trying to help you along here. Uh, Aubrey knows what she's doing here. She's a keeper, but I mean, t what, what is all this and why do you have a big giant container full of crickets? <laughs> We've got several. So we use these crickets for diets, so like of our lizards and our frogs, but we also use them for enrichment. Meerkats especially. Uh, they love to chase live crickets. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we'll give them in a lot and they kind of scatter, so it's some natural feeding behavior for them as well. So then we have to get them in here, right? Yes, we do. And does that mean by we, does that mean me? Yes. <laughs> okay, how do, I, how do I get them So what you can do it? is set this in here and then just take one of the egg crates and just knock them. Oh, and just smack yep, them in there? smack okay. them in there. Can it be that one or yep. does it matter? All right. Either one. And you can get quite a bit too. Oh my gosh, look at all of them. <laughs> That should be enough. Okay. <laughs> that. No, wait. Here, get, look at that. Mmm. Yep. Yep. Oh my gosh, it's so weird to be in here with them. <laughs> so, do they dig yeah. all these yes, eggs constantly? Yes, I need to. Uh, yes, that's one thing I have to do is um, <laughs> fill in the holes. Really? Yeah. So they can redig it. Mmm. The dinner is served. All right, I'm gonna watch them. Look, they're he's very he's more fascinated about, about my feet than. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look. Oh, my gosh. Look at them. I feel sorry for the ones out in the back, so I'm going <laughs> to give them some too. Nobody's over here. Here you are. There you go. Yep. So then the crickets will start moving, and then. So they do get a main diet of vegetables and fruit, they get a cat food. Um, it's a kidney based cat food because meerkats in captivity don't have kidney issues, oh. the genetics isn't very good, and then they get insectivore, so it's basically a pelleted form of insects. The females will take care of the babies, uh, and then they'll have some that do sentry. So sentries so. are watching, just on yes. like a guard yes. on watch, and yes. where did you say they go? So they go at the top of the termite mound, usually, is where they'll sit, but sometimes if they're all asleep on the ground, they'll have one watching while the rest are sleeping. Well, thank you for letting me come yeah, here. Yeah, absolutely. This. I love this. <laughs> Side eye. You don't happen to have any crickets left or around or anything that. of it. You should have seen her. She, her skin was crawling. I know. That. I'm looking at my skin. I'm like, oh my goodness. So, but interesting. I, I love them because they have a hierarchy, and she said the males will challenge to see who's the king, mm -hmm. and sometimes oh. somebody gets knocked out and the other guy takes over, and then some are actually guards. The sentries usually stay up on the top and look out for trouble, and it's just instinct, so no trouble at the GSC, but it's instinct for them to keep guard. Wow. Uh, our producer Aaron said, uh, asking about the show, um, um, do you, have you, did you Was ever see Meerkat, Meerkat Manor? Manor? Yes. Such yes. a cool show, and I think that's where my fascination came from them. Just, I just love the, the, the way that they're like a community. It, it's the cutest thing too because when I came here, they're used to people. So when I, and by the way, you can't do this. That they let us back. Down. I don't want people to think it's a keeper thing that you can pay for. Um, when he walked in, they're so used to it. They ran up and they were starting to nibble on my shoestring, my <laughs> laces, on my sneakers. I was like, "What are they doing?" She goes, "Don't stand, or they'll untie your shoes. Like, don't stand in one place too long. Feed them." They're like little monkeys. Yeah. Just I was getting in trouble. Missed you. <laughs> I've got nothing more to add to this conversation, but I'm glad that you got out I'll there. I'll bring you those crickets this. next Please time. Please don't. Did you? Um, did you get to to touch them? No, they with, won't let you get okay. that close. And they didn't want us to do it. Keepers usually don't, yeah. unless it's a medical thing. So. I imagine they feel a little bit like a cat, maybe. I, I don't know if you could tell what <laughs> they looked like, they could feel like. Um, yeah, they, they looked like they would feel kind of like, um, you ever seen a short-haired guinea pig? That's kind of like yes. with that kind of hair. Oh. Like, yeah, it was really coarse looking, but mm. they were cute. Anyway. Aww.